knew it was going to be a hard race. Uh, headwinds the whole way. Um, sometimes you're only making sort of two, three miles an hour in the right direction, which is uh, which is pretty tough to take, to be honest. But I mean, fourth still a fantastic result. Like super proud of the crew um, battling it out like that. And um, yeah, it's good to be in the mix. <laughs> was a tough one and up point most of the time and uh, I think it's but well, at the end I think it's good because it's a good preparation for the next big cross Thank you very much. and um, now we're having tuned out with lovely weather and um, I think all our crew members are ready to explore the city but uh, when we saw the all the tall skyscrapers and say wow it's a big and huge city but I'm so glad I'm so glad to be here in Qingdao in beautiful Qingdao <laughs> Well done. Tough race, but there was no big storms as we had in previous races, so it's manageable. Uh, but cold and you know warm and uh, leading over a lot at the beginning, uh, and cold and fast at the end. So it was a great way to arrive in Qingdao with a spinnaker. Fantastic team. Josh had done a great job in uh, creating a really good team. Everyone gets stuck in. It's uh, really a pleasure. Actually, this is probably probably the hardest few days we've had on the whole race so far. And to come on as a legger straight into that is, is brutal. Things don't last forever, the storms pass, the, the headwinds pass. It's really hard for a few days and you don't think you're going to get through, but, but you do. Tain was a hell of a race. <laughs> it wasn't long, 10 days, 11 days, but we had everything. Um, it was challenging, it was uh, cold, uh, lots of upwind, uh, terrible tacking angles, um, but it was a, a, a great uh, experience actually with a lot of people that are about to go to the North Pacific. This was the perfect uh, perfect practice round. It's been quite a struggle uh, the first few days, um, beating up wind. Uh, getting used to the onboard yeah. routines um, and uh, uh, I guess like almost everybody on board got seasick at some point. Uh, but we found fight our uh, way back uh, and uh, we came in six now. So. I don't think we ever at so any point worried about what place we'll be at because we were just like, so okay, we have to survive. If we can do this, guys, we can do this. So I think we're all really, really happy. <laughs> Proper tough one for them, a real, real baptism. Uh, but they stood up fantastically. Uh, the crew's just been really, uh, really solid. We've got an amazing uh, camaraderie here on uh, PSP and uh, they just lived up to it. Everyone just really bonds on our boat and it is a great atmosphere that is something that me and Mike are definitely proud of. And for the team to have that camaraderie with each other. The team did so well racing here from uh, Zhuhai. Uh, it was a very tough race with tough weather. Uh, we, I think we made a few tactical decisions that didn't work out, but um, yeah, in terms of how much we put into each watch, it didn't really affect uh, our performance. You know, every day we turned up on time and put as much effort in as we could. <laughs> It's been a really tough race okay. since July. I had a lot of upwind sailing, a lot of swell, a lot of changes. Uh, quite <laughs> difficult on the new crew joining. We managed to get through it and it had a really nice two days coming in downwind. So it was a good finish to a tough race. <laughs> Lovely spirit all the time. Tough times, easy times. You know, we're always there for each other. And uh, yeah, it's just a great experience. Overall, we did it. Some uh, difficult moments in the uh, light weather, but uh, finally made it again. So uh, on to the next race again. Yeah, man. So happy. Very happy we made it through. We wanted to win the race or the podium. 
we were not going to be happy with a fifth or a sixth, so we had to risk. So we, we tried some things, it didn't work, and that's racing, you know. Sometimes you, they go well, sometimes they go wrong. And the team, is, I'm so proud of them, they've been racing so well pushing so hard and you know they forgiving me for my tactical decision <laughs> and very very motivated very very motivated for the next leg we are sailing well <laughs> Tough one. Uh, what was yeah, fr tough, and frustrating. The first four days, um, all uphill. So I was on the foot coming around Taiwan, and then played catch up for the rest of the game. And we've been through a bit of a journey on this passage, and I think that's probably bonded the team quite a bit together. So maybe it was something that we've been missing up until this point. So there, yeah, we'll take that away as a, as a learning lesson. Well, it was great. Um, uh, change from the hot leg. Um, it was getting already very cold, so already clearing things and the waves getting bigger, uh, sea state, it's very exciting, so yeah, we're, we're getting ready for the big Pacific crossing, so it was a pretty good warm up. And I had warned the crew that your welcoming ceremonies are the best in the world, so um, you have delivered again. found it tough, um, I know more than others, but it was definitely a tough race, so it's great to be here. Um, great, amazing welcome, so many people, so it's, uh, it's really, really nice. We had a bit of unluck and we found ourselves at the back of the fleet, which is always hard and makes things feel a little bit worse than they are. Um, but when you kind of realise that they're not that bad, it's just kind of 11th, then, you know, we just enjoyed ourselves. We liked our race now, we do what we want, you know, just enjoy being on the boat and enjoy being here, and it was great. Brutal initiation for the leggers by myself. And then we had uh, some wonderful champagne sailing, downwind sailing, it was fantastic. A uh, great bunch of men and women on the boat, and Hannah's been a wonderfully calm leader in all of it. Uh, some frantic nights around fishing pots. Just glad to be here. Shame we're not a little further up in the field, um, but there's always the next race. Yeah.